Welcome back to our channel. What's up, guys? We are back here again with another episode of Tech Toys, baby. And in this video, we're going to be talking about and looking at one of the most insane military tech of 2023. The technology we will be discussing today is called hypersonic weapons. Note that down. And these are insanely capable of huge wonders in the military world, which often has to do with explosions and destruction. So let's get into the details of these hypersonic weapons and learn more about them. Oh, am I missing something? Uh, ah, yes, 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 yes. The 10 seconds. Here you go, guys. Take your 10 seconds to press that red subscribe button bell and hit that ring to keep in touch with all the upcoming and amazing videos. Done? Done. Okay, great. Now we should actually get into the details of these beasts. Let's go. Hypersonic weapons are a class of weapons that have been in development for several years. These weapons are capable of traveling at speeds of up to five times the speed of sound, making them incredibly difficult to detect and intercept. They have the potential to revolutionize warfare and change the way we think about the defense systems. Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, has recently been credited with hyping hypersonic fight by declaring that his country has developed the Avangard missile, which can travel up to 27 times the speed of sound and hit targets anywhere in the world. The fact that Russia is currently leading the world in this new class of weapons, as well as great maneuverability, allow them to escape current US missile defense system. Although China also claimed to possess the DFZF hypersonic weapons with a maximum speed of Mach 10, but are these weapons really as unbeatable as they are claimed to be? Well, we probably will learn about that in the future. The United States admitted that these new weapons pose a serious threat and they are making rapid efforts to build some alternatives. Digging more about these hypersonic weapons, due to the key selling qualities of speed and maneuverability, hypersonic weapons have been under development for decades and have developed an almost mythological aura. They use a combination of air breathing engines and rocket propulsion to reach incredibly high speed. This allows them to bypass current missile defense systems, as I mentioned, and reach their target in a matter of minutes. They are also equipped with advanced guidance systems that allow them to speed in the atmosphere, making them even more difficult to intercept, aka making them more deadly. Now here's how it works. The key to a hypersonic weapon speed is its propulsion system. Air breathing engines such as a scramjet allow the weapon to reach high speeds by using the air it travels through for combustion. This is different from traditional rocket engines which carry their own oxygen supply. Once the weapon reaches a certain altitude and speed, it switches to rocket propulsion to continue its journey. This allows it to reach even higher speeds and altitudes. Let's talk about the advantages. The biggest advantage of hypersonic weapons is of course their speed. They can travel at such high speeds and they can reach their target in a matter of minutes. This makes them ideal for both offensive and defensive operations. They can also be used to deliver conventional or nuclear warheads. This means they can be used as a first strike weapon, allowing a country to quickly take out an enemy's defense systems before they have a chance to even respond or know what hit them. Another advantage of hypersonic weapons is their ability to maneuver in the atmosphere. This makes them difficult to intercept as current missile defense systems are designed to track and intercept projectiles that travel in a straight line. Hypersonic weapons, however, can change course at a moment's notice, making them much harder to track and intercept with the current missile tracking technology. Now let's take a look at the current development and future perspective. Currently, many countries are investing in the development of these hypersonic weapons. The US, Russia, and China are all known to be working on their own versions of these weapons. In 2023, we can expect to see more countries join this race and some of the hypersonic weapons will be deployed for military use, which is as fascinating as it is scary. The future of hypersonic weapons is exciting, but it also raises a lot of concerns about the potential for an arms race. This is like 
the modern day race for the nuclear bomb, except it's hypersonic weapons and the year is 2023. If multiple countries have access to these weapons, it could lead to a new era of warfare where defense systems that we have today are obsolete and countries are forced to rely on their own hypersonic weapons for protection. This could lead to a situation where the use of these weapons becomes a lot more likely as countries may feel the need to strike first to protect themselves. The best defense is sometimes a good offense. Hypersonic weapons are not all that easy to operate though. Let's talk about hypersonic missiles specifically. Tracking and algorithmic models are used by missile defense systems to forecast the location of the warhead so that quick missiles can be launched to intercept it. A hypersonic missile can guide itself to fly through heavily fortified regions and fool tracking systems while doing so at an extremely high speed by using control surfaces or chemical thrusters. The inability to forecast its direction and the requirement to track it during its whole flight path make it significantly harder to shoot down. All of this sounds excellent in principle, but putting it into practice is another story. If you move slowly, flying through the air is simple. Nevertheless, wind resistance increases as you go faster. At hypersonic speed, things get especially challenging since the drag on a flying item grows proportionally to the square of its velocity. A glider traveling at Mach 5 has a drag that is 25 times more than a glider traveling at Mach 1, while a glider traveling at Mach 2 25 has a drag that is 400 times greater. That drag requires a lot of energy to maintain, to say the least. The energy needed to propel air molecules ahead and to the side of the glider at a speed of Mach 1 will be lost 125 times faster at Mach 5 than at Mach 20 and 8,000 times faster at Mach 1. Nearly all this energy is converted to heat and shock waves. Although there's a lot more interesting facts related to these weapons, but uh, let's not stretch this video out too much. But, but, I will definitely come back for a part two of this cool military tech to tell you guys more about these weapons. So in conclusion, hypersonic weapons are a game changer in the field of warfare, for better or for worse. They are incredibly fast, difficult to detect, and intercept and have the potential to revolutionize the way we think about our defense systems. The race for hypersonic weapons is on and we can expect to see more of this technology in the near future. As with any technology, it is important to consider the potential consequences and work towards a response responsible development and deployment. So guys, thanks for being with me here. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And yes, if you didn't subscribe already, do it right away because you must not be missing on some of the most amazing updated news on tech toys around the world that I have coming for you in the future. So don't forget to like this video. And I would also love your feedback. Give me some comments below. Love to hear that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Until next time on Tech Toys.